Hey there, I am back. I hope you guys make it back. We are gonna finish this up. Uh, we're literally about halfway through the project. So I'm hoping that you guys can come back. I had um, my daughter calling me over and over and over. So let's try this again. We are gonna finish this pom-pom project. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna get started doing pom-poms again. We are on a hot pink one. And then I'm gonna do, I'm glad guys that I just did the outside because it's, I'm running low on these pom-poms. I'm gonna put another one right here. And a pink one, ah, falling on me. Yes, I'm so glad you guys are back. This just happens more than I like to admit, more than I'd like to admit. Okay, we are plugging along. I'm gonna do, I, I haven't put any two colors together, but I think I'm gonna use a white one. It looks like I'm only gonna have enough room. I don't know, y'all, we'll have to see. I feel like I only have enough room to do the, the outline of the heart, which then it's a good thing that I did not, uh, what did I not do? It's a good thing that I did not, that I used the template in the middle because then I would have run completely out. Okay, I'm gonna do a red one next to the white one and then I'm gonna do a little pink one, I think. No, I already did a pink one, a little white one. And then we'll see how many balls we have left and we'll see if we're gonna do the center or not. Okay, y'all, I feel like this needs to be a big ball because it looks weird. I'm gonna take that one off because it's easy, easy to remove them. In fact, I'm just gonna make a little dot on this one make it a big ball. There we go. So here's where we're at. We've got the pom-poms on it. I don't know if I have enough for the center part, but we're gonna see. Maybe, I'm gonna literally just toss them all in the center and see if they, see if it works. Looks like I have enough. Look, it's like a big pile. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. So let me let this heat up a little more. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the rest in here real quick. I'm actually what I'm gonna do is put some hot glue in the center, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to throw all the balls in again. So that'll make really um, quick. That'll make haste of it. Haste of the project. Is that southern? Haste of the project. Listen, you guys do this again. And you was doing a tree and ran out of pom-poms. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. It's, it's tough to run out of supplies while you are doing a project. But listen, you guys are doing this again. I'm so sorry to have to get you guys started again on this, but this is for part two. And I wanna show y'all what, while that's heating up, what I'm giving away. So these little things I found at the um, dollar spot in the Target, and I showed y'all these little Scrabble letters um, this afternoon. And this is what I am giving away. And since I had to do two parts, I'm gonna do two of them. So I got several bags. We are gonna do two winners tonight. One from the first video that did this, and one from this video that does this. And I have your choice of I love you always forever, it's really cute. And then um, I have the other one's the one I'm using. I have this one, Forever Yours, You and Me. And it's got some heart blocks in there too. This one has heart blocks in it too. Give me some love for these prizes, y'all. These are so cute. Anyway, they're really substantial, nice little wood blocks. So you guys do this and we are gonna see if this hot glue is ready. Okay. The balls are just attacking me, y'all, and I need every single one. Hold on, one went under the table. Good grief. 
Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could it be any crazier? This is Friday night. This is what you get for Friday night. And there is no alcoholic beverages involved. This is just, this is it. This is it. So, all right, I'm going to shove some hot glue on here. And it looks like I'm going to need probably some more hot glue. Not some more, but. Okay. There's pom-poms over here on the floor. I didn't even know that I dropped some over here on the floor. Hold on more escapees. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to town on these. Just gonna go to town on them. Okay, I'm trying to sort of make a sort of a pattern, but not really. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there's not room for all of these pom-poms, y'all. There is not room. Hello, that one can't be right next to that one. Mm. Okay, I've got as many pom-poms on here as will as it will take. Here's the pom-pom heart. Here's where we here's where we are so far. <laughs> this is how far we've survived. <sighs> okay, we are going to see if our frame is dry. No, it's not. But that's okay. We're going to play with it anyway. I'm talking like this so that I don't lose my mind more. <sighs> part twos, part twos. Do y'all know how many videos I have part twos on? Okay, so here is my towel. I'm going to put it down in front of me. I've got this quasi wet frame. And um, now I'm just being silly. Um, quasi wet. It's a little bit wet. And I am going to flip it over and we are going to attach our, hello, do you know what's wet? The inside, the inside's wet. Okay. So I'm going to take my canvas, thank goodness it's white because it's, everything's white on me. And I am going to um, glue it down on the back of this. Yep, I'm gonna glue it down on the back of this. Do y'all have any tips? Do y'all have any tips? Should I like, I need a heat gun? Yes, I know I need a heat gun. I keep meaning to order one and then I don't. Or pick one up, I'm sure I could pick one up. I usually order though. I usually order those kind of things, my tools. Um, okay, so I think because I just didn't want to have to pick this back up and set it back down on my canvas, but I can. Looks like I needed to trim this a little bit anyway. So I'm going to trim this while I'm waiting on some tips. I have been framed. <laughs> Thank you for my the compliment on my gallery wall. If you guys are interested in the template of my gallery wall, so you can do one yourself, um, it's at southerncrushathome.com slash gallery wall. And then if you wanna see all the projects that are on here, so many people talk about this cross up here, right above my head, that's over on the blog at southerncrushathome.com. Okay, I trimmed up the canvas. We are literally going to go for it. I'm just gonna glue the, I'm gonna glue the corners. I'm gonna glue the whole thing. Look at me. I'm just gonna glue the whole thing. I said I was just gonna glue the corners. That was not the case. I'm gonna glue the whole thing down so that for the sake of time, I'm just going to eyeball this somehow. And we are gonna hold our breaths. Ah, it's hot, <laughs> it's hot. 
Yes, I've, I've been known to bring my hair dryer in here for the paint before, that's for sure. Do you hear that rattle? <laughs> that's those bottles from the other night. Did y'all know I got sick after that video? Ah, uh, with the Starbucks. Okay. This looks good. So here we are. We are coming along. It is crooked, y'all. It is crooked. I'm so mad. Hold on. You know I'm not going to let this thing be crooked. You know I'm not going to let this thing be crooked. Oh, heck no. Not on my watch. So, I am going to unpeel it. Put it down. I'm going to re-glue it in the corners. Oh, I will win. I will win this battle. This craft does not have the best of me. I am going to do the four corners like I said. I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to set it how I want it. You guys should have told me to put it straight up and down or to, to start this way. <laughs> now it's straight. Now it's straight. Now I'm covered in paint, but it's straight. It is straight. All right, so the next step is, my plans were to, um, ah, my plans were to kick this up a notch, right? Who all on here, raise your hand, give me some hearts if you're old enough to know who Emeril, I don't even know how to say his last name, Degrassi, De, anyway, who Emeril is. He would go, bam, let's kick it up a notch. And that's what I wanted to do with this project. You guys are doing this right for these for these hearts. Oh, look, there's so many more pom-poms. All right, so here's where we're at. I, I won the battle. I got the pom-pom heart on here. And now I am going to add some bling to the middle. Don't you know I'm going to add some bling to the middle? Okay, so I want your help. We got three choices here, y'all. Three choices. I'm going to glance real quick. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that one's probably not a choice. I'm going to hold them up for y'all, okay? And I want y'all to give me hearts for each one, but the most hearts for the one that you like the best. Okay, so this is one of the bling choices, and it's sort of a rose gold with a big fat pearl in the middle. If I can do it backwards. This is that one. I'm seeing some love. Okay. This one is rose gold on the back, but mostly pearls and a little bitty piece of um, rhinestone in the center. So there's that one. And then there's this one that I thought was sort of cute. It is a big fat pearl with some stuff around it. I sort of thought that one was cute. It's the smallest. You guys vote one, two, or three. One, two, or three. That's a lot of hearts for the last one. Somebody says no, no, no. Number two. People are saying number two. There's number two. I'm thinking definitely, I think we can call number one out. We can say that one is out. It kind of clashes y'all. Even though it's rose gold, it's supposed to be a little bit pink. It sort of clashes. We'll just take, we'll just take that one out. So it's between these two. The little one with the big pearl in the center or this one medium two or three second one second one second one second one. okay I think y'all are voting all for the second one so I am gonna glue the second one down we are going to beat this project at its own game oh it's gonna be so cute this one pom-pom y'all has a little bit of paint on it I don't know how this paint got everywhere, y'all. 
but you're right, the heat gun would have been the solution to take care of all of it. Okay. I am just giving a generous amount of glue to the embellishment. And then I am holding the embellishment down. <laughs> I'm delirious now, y'all. This project has won. I, I'm sitting here saying that I won. The project's won. The project has won. Just lifting it a little because I pushed it too far down. Here's where we, where we are so far. So good. I'm showing you the sparkle. Okay. So here's the, the predicament. The predicament. I don't have a southern word for that. I couldn't decide before we hopped on whether or not I should add bling to the edges of the frame or if it was just too much. I can add this bling. How do I get this down here? There we go. I could add this bling to the frame. What do y'all think? So you can see it without and then you can see it with. And of course with, it would go all the way around. I mean, it would be a lot of bling. We're talking up and down, all around. It would be all four sides. Is that too much? I feel like it might be too much, y'all. I am not adding a bow. A ton of people are saying yes bling. Some people are saying it's fine the way it is. So here's the other embellishment, guys. These little, these little, there's glue everywhere. These little X's and O's for the frame. I'll show you. So this was my idea was to put my finger in the paint again. So can you see the X's and O's? I'm trying to hold it up without putting it on there. But like an XO there and an XO down here. You know, kind of funzy looking. What do you think of this? Jeanette doesn't think it's too much. Jane thinks it's too much. The other one. Um, try it just on the bottom. No extra bling. Maybe top and bottom. These are great ideas, guys. What about the X's and O's? What about the X's and O's? They're cuter. I thought they kind of brought the canvas color together. I know you can't see very well but there is still kind of a off-white canvas color here. And so, yeah, while there's a lot of white, um, there's still an off-white color. So I thought the X's and O's would be um, kind of complimentary to it. You say no to the X and O, X and O across the bottom. See, I didn't leave enough um, room so someone's saying, do it like this. I don't like that. I don't love that. I, I think that's too, too much in order, if that makes sense. I could do it kind of all wonky. Can you see that without me gluing it down? A right X's and O on the bottom? I don't know, y'all. Y'all got me all kinds of confused. Okay, so we're just gonna put the X's and O's somewhere on the frame. <laughs> I don't like the X's because they really um, are natural in the bling in the middle of the heart. Yeah, the bling kind of 
does is thrown off. This is the X's and O's. That's why I was torn, y'all, because I was like, well, the X's and O's are a little more whimsical, but the the bling um, is more elegant. Yes, yes. So with that being said, I don't know, y'all. Let me see. What about the X's and O's on the heart? No, that's not gonna work. 